and thank you everyone for attending this session. Uh, this is a great turnout, I would say, because I've seen much smaller turnout about uh, China. My first uh, talk about Chinese mobile gaming market, I think it was 2012 at GDC Next, there were four people, including two organizers. So in the past two years, uh, I've been personally advocating for the Chinese mobile gaming industry in general and uh, representing China and telling the Western developers there is a viable market, there's real revenue to be made in China market. And, it, and today there are many Chinese developers, uh, Western developers entering China market. I saw many familiar faces here and we, uh, Chukong Technologies, as one of the largest uh, uh, mobile game developer and publisher in China and working with, have the privilege to work with several uh, very, very prominent, well-known developers worldwide. Uh, so this is a, just a brief introduction of who we are. So Chukun Technology is a, a game developer publisher as well as a developer toolset provider. So we are the creator of Cocos 2 dx It's a uh, open source and free game engine uh, used by uh, many developers, 70% of the mobile game devs in China and also many developers uh, here in the West. Uh, and also, we're most proud, uh, uh, what makes us feel most proud is CocoChina.com. This is the root of Chukong is a developer community. So Chukong is for developer and we are developers. This is where Chinese devs, uh, mobile devs, they exchange ideas about uh, early on technology and later on marketing uh, uh, techniques around uh, uh, iOS app store and later on Chinese Android stores. So this is Chukong. So before we deep dive into WeChat, just to give you a context of the, where WeChat is, and which is in China, and the particular industry is mobile, right? So, and I assume most of here are mobile game related. So can you sh do a show of hands? Uh, so who are game related? Almost all of you, right? Right, so, um, so in China, mobile gaming market size in terms of dollar amount uh, will reach expected to be 3 billion US dollars. That's very much comparable to the US, which is 3.2 billion. Uh, this is according to GameIndustry.biz. What is the, uh, the difference between China and the West is it is totally opposite to what we see here. Right? Over here is still iOS is the majority of the, or at least the larger portion of most studios' revenue. And I know some studios are only iOS is, is, is iOS focused or iOS only. But in China, 70% of the entire market's revenue is coming from Android side. So this is very, very different. Um, and uh, the challenge is, uh, it is a highly fragmented market. Fragmentation, not only uh, as we understood here uh, in terms of form factor, in term, terms of uh, uh, devices, device types, it is the, at the Android store level. So if, if you know there is no Google Play, uh, or there's virtually no existence of Google Play in China market, uh, 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 in addition, there are 200 plus Google Play similar type of Android channels. So these are app stores such as 360, one of the largest one, 91, uh, UC, which is a browser. Uh, there are carrier stores from the phone operators, uh, Ch China Telecom, China Unicom, who are not only providing distribution, but also very vitally important uh, payment method. And also the OEMs, so the handset manufacturers, they have their own app store. So it is highly fragmented to be able to have a reasonable coverage, you have to uh, cover at least 30 to 50 app stores. Uh, then the last point is Tencent. So Tencent is the company that created WeChat, the, 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 the dominating chat platform. Now it's a new communication method in China. So Tencent itself accounts for about 40 to 50% of the overall market's revenue. So it is how huge WeChat and how huge Tencent is. I guess that's the reason why the organizer is asking me to, to, to give the speech, though I'm not from Tencent, about WeChat. So what is WeChat? So I'm sure you've heard about it. It's a, it's a messaging app. But really, from consumers' point of view, there are two f main features. So as uh, indicated uh, in the screenshots on the left is the chat feature. So this is a voice chat or asynchronous voice and text chat uh, a platform similar to Kick or WhatsApp. Uh, and what is behind, there are more, uh, more uh, 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 subtle features such as uh, asynchronous and synchronous uh, video chat. Uh, that's FaceTime. Um, and the second key feature for WeChat is, is called Moments. Um, this is the, the brand, but more, a more appropriate or literal translation of that feature from Chinese is Friend Circle. So this is your friend, uh, friend feed or news feed from Facebook or your Twitter feed. 
So this is what consumers usually see. And if, as a foreigner, if you register a WeChat, you probably will see these two, two user interfaces. You probably don't have enough friends. You, don't, you won't be able to deep dive. And I will deep dive and show you some more um, important features and also important trends generated from WeChat. So the WeChat's impact in, in uh, consumers' life in China, um, I think huge is probably is, is, is an underestimation. Uh, so the first uh, point is WeChat is really creating a new communication model. So it started as a replacement of SMS. And in, in China, you know, there is no voicemail or voicemail is not prevalent at all. Uh, so there is no answering machine and people don't, I mean, don't use voicemail at all, right? So I think that this is probably the reason why WeChat uh, in the early days took off. At least one of the reasons is it provides this asynchronous voice chat which is voicemail, right? It's, it's, it's a very novice, interesting way of, of, of just a leaving message and get, get instant feedback. So um, it's replacing SMS, it's hurting and probably killing uh, the carrier's SMS uh, or text business, uh, and uh, it's creating this, 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 uh, this voicemail market or communication channel in China that doesn't exist. And in certain cases, for many consumers, it's probably replacing email. So in the case of my mom, I saw, you know, she's, she's living in, in China, in Beijing, I live in, in the States, in, in the Bay Area. So I used to use email to exchange uh, in every, uh, every now and now, every week or every now and then, exchange email, exchange message, in, exchange photos, right? But now everything is done through WeChat. So she's basically given up email as a communication vehicle at all, right? So first and foremost, it's, it's creating a new, new uh, communication mode. Um, and in terms of scale, you said it's a, the total number of smartphone devices is 700 million or smartphone users, and WeChat accounts for 600 million. So it's almost every smart device has WeChat installed, and they are all active users. So by active, I mean they are spending 20% or more of their time on smart devices on WeChat. So again, in the case of my mom, she spent her whole day on WeChat. <laughs> just, I mean, looking, I mean, so just, I'll, I'll probably jump to the, to the last point first is, so the, the, the user's use, use case with WeChat is not only chat, not only uh, just looking at uh, my newsfeed, looking, looking at the update from my friends, but also consume other contents. So it's replacing browser, right? So it's re replacing any newsfeed uh, or new newsreader. Um, WeChat also provides payment platform. So it's supporting e-commerce. So people can purchase, there's a Wii store, so they can do purchase, online purchase within WeChat. And of course there's gaming, right? So it's an entire ecosystem that basically covers the, your digital life. So it is that powerful. So coming back to the third point, uh, so about 40 to 50% of the mobile gaming revenue from the entire market um, is, uh, is contributed by WeChat. I think contribution, contribute, uh, contribute probably is the wrong, wrong verb or wrong word because it's, uh, really it's not contributing to none of the developers. Uh, it's more for, for Tencent and WeChat, but the impact is huge. So this is uh, the top grossing chart from the China iOS store. Uh, so four of the games that are highlighted are WeChat games. So four out of the top five grossing. So as I said earlier, probably 70% of the revenue from, is from Android side, but because all the, the, the Android stores are so fragmented, so it's very hard to have a gross uh, rank for, uh, for the Android, so this iOS is just a good indicator. So top five grossing, four of them are from WeChat, and from six to 10, still there are three. So 70% of the top grossing games are from WeChat. So what this means to game developers, for Chinese developers and also for Western developers, first is not much. What it means is this is a highly curated, so I think the, the key word I heard from the previous panel was curated, right, for Line, for Kakao, it's a highly curated environment. But in the cases WeChat is not only highly curated, many of the games are developed in-house. So all the seven games I've shown are developed in-house studio by, by Tencent themselves. So it has nothing to do with us except for the entire market's growth has been taken by this giant. But it is very much relevant to us because of this ecosystem, right? So the existence of the ecosystem allow the innovation to really cash out and to allow, allow the innovation to really thrive. So there are a lot of innovation here in the, in the, in the, in the, in, in the valley, in the Bay Area. So I saw Kick there, so we just had a, had, a, had a chat this morning. But really it's WeChat because of the money and also the population and also the mainstream existence of the, of this, of the system that makes the innovation really make sense, right? So I'll come to that um, uh, in, in more detail. So, uh, 
so, so there are some hidden features and hidden trends probably as an average consumer will not see. And uh, of course, as, as, a, as, a, as a foreign developer, you most likely will, you will not notice. So first one is web app. And second one is e-commerce. And the third one is interactive ads. And the fourth one is what we care is game. But all of these, I think, is related and very much relevant to our game developers. So first is web app. Uh, so this is a web app from Chinese Construction Bank, so one of the largest, largest banks in China. So this is their online banking interface in WeChat. So WeChat provides this very simple infrastructure allow developer to build web apps. So the menu structure down there and also the secondary menu, they're all provided or built using this WeChat infrastructure. So in, from this app, uh, not only this is information only, uh, uh, bank users or consumers, they can check for their balance, they can make credit card payment, uh, they can do pretty much everything uh, critical, mission critical for an online banking app. So why this is relevant to us? Because there is very um, real and very concrete and backed by um, economy that kind of user acquisition need from this app, right? So versus here, I haven't seen this kind of app in Facebook or other social networks. So the next one is e-commerce. So this is the WeChat store for Leaning. So Leaning is a Chinese sporting goods um, uh, uh, vendor. It's sort of the Nike in China. Uh, so this is not only a, just, a, just a website anymore. This is a full-fledged app store. So there are shopping cards. You can make payment. You can browse your product. You can purchase sneaker from WeChat. Again, so this will drive advertising, mobile advertising, right? So the next uh, one is uh, interactive ads. So we started seeing many of those interactive ads happening sponsored by big brands. So in this case, this is BMW. So this particular ad is, um, is, is a very viral um, app itself. So a recipient of this uh, WeChat message, so they will see, the, see a WeChat message first and then they will be able to claim certain uh, gifts uh, from, from BMW if they spread this message further and if they view the service, different services provided by, by BMW, right? So this is a brand building, uh, pretty natural, uh, easily understood, but again, this will become the economy behind this entire system and behind monetization for games. Uh, so the, f the fundamental for all those economy to work is payment, right? So WeChat provide payment. So if you think WeChat again, is, this becomes the entry point for mobile, so it's Google's position, and it's a browser, and it's a chat system, is Facebook, and it is PayPal, right? So it's everything combined together, so that's why this is so influenced and is so relevant to us. Now, for gaming, so this is a HTML5 <coughs> clone for 2048. Uh, the, I'm pretty sure this was not developed by the original 2048 team, but this is because of HTML5 is so accessible to the web developers, very easily built and highly viral, and I see many of the, the viral posts posting my high scores uh, uh, from my WeChat friends feed. Another example, of course, you've got to have a Flappy Bird, right? So this is the HTML5 version of Flappy Bird running on WeChat seamlessly. So this is my friend feed. This is just a, my younger cousin who is posting her high scores and very avidly, and you can see and how this potentially can, can, can become viral. So in comparison, so there's a screenshot from Kik. So Kik is, as I said, and so many innovation is really coming from the Valley and in terms of quality and in terms of infrastructure provided for developers. I think Kik, uh, HTML5 initiative and also the tools is just top notch. I mean, and actually, just to come back a, uh, uh, to, to the earlier uh, examples a little bit, so all these HTML games in WeChat, these are grassroots, just created by, by, by developer without any support from, 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 from WeChat platform at all, right? However, Kik is facing the problem of payment, right? Kik is facing the problem of creating the demand side for ads, but all these problems doesn't ex exist for, for WeChat. So that's why, um, uh, my prediction is, so uh, some innovation, at least in this area, in, in this example, is HTML5 gaming, probably potentially will come from the East. 
So lastly, so this, so I, I just mentioned that WeChat is, uh, is 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 relevant in China, and if you're considering the China market, of course, that will be a element that you have to study, you have to understand, and you want to watch out for the innovation from the coming from the east. Uh, but is WeChat coming directly coming to the west or not? Actually, they are, or there, or there are at least attempts, right? So this is the uh, the highest um, free ranking uh, from iOS Store for WeChat app. So it, it, at one point of time, it ranked number one in 62 countries, including the US, I think it's the highest was 30. So they definitely put in some significant marketing resource behind WeChat to try to, uh, to, 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 to push to the international market outside of China. Uh, of course, uh, whether WeChat will become successful in the West or not, that just merits a totally separate discussion and talk. Uh, we don't have the time to do that, but definitely watch out for the elephant and the giant coming from the East. So thank you very much, and uh, if you want to try out WeChat, please add me. Okay, I'm going to take questions. Well, Mark, the Go first on. question I'm going to ask is, I um, sure. love the slides, love the data. Where can we get hold of the slides if we want to uh, absorb them a little bit later? Oh, sure. Uh, I think there is a vault area for, for Casual Connect, okay. I believe. I will, I will upload. Make sure you do it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Go ahead. Can we hold for the mic, please, just so we can, for the camera? Um, you talked about how WeChat could uh, process payments, but Kick could not. Uh, I'm sorry. You talked about how WeChat could process payments on the web apps, uh, but Kick cannot. Um, why can WeChat do that? It's also an iOS app, and from yeah. what I understand, Kick can't do it because of the iOS app store policies. Yeah, th th that's, that's a good question. So WeChat, right now, the payment is for, uh, it's, it's not covering virtual goods. Right, it's for physical goods. So that is not subject to the limitation or regulation of, uh, of developer agreement between Apple and, and app developers. So in the case of Kick, I don't think they have any physical uh, commerce uh, within their app. It's all virtual goods, so that's not allowed by Apple. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> could you talk a little bit about discovery and advertising on the WeChat platform? Sure. So discovery... Right now, there's no real discoverability. So I, I have another slide, which, which I, which I, uh, I took off. Uh, for native apps, so there is a games portal. Uh, if you go to, it's just called Discover, and there's a game submenu, and then there are three or four WeChat games uh, in the English version of the WeChat, and there are more in the Chinese version of WeChat. So these are the highly curated and hand-picked uh, WeChat games. And after that, it's all social. Uh, so for HTML game, uh, so there is currently no distribution channel at all, right? So it's all uh, for the, the, the developers or publishers to just to use whatever their, their means to use their own existing so-called WeChat big account or large account. So these are the WeChat uh, account that has a large number of fans. And there are actually market price for those, those WeChat accounts to post to their fans. So, so these are the more grassroots kind of uh, kind of a discoverability uh, mechanism or, or or promotional mechanisms. Yeah, uh, just a quick question um, regarding you just said that they were pretty much closed for third-party content, uh, meaning, if I understood you correctly, that it was mostly uh, their own in-house made games. Um, there are there are third party there are third third party titles. So their in house games are more in the casual and uh, more viral endless runner match of three type of games. Uh, actually, they did sign some international games, uh, including Temple Run, uh, I believe Fruit Ninja, but they never launched those games. So my take is there's some internal resource conflict to which game to launch, which one give them highest uh, um, profit margin. Just th that's just my guess. Uh, but their publishing is more around mid core to hardcore. Uh, it's the MMOs, uh, battle card games, so that, that genre. Okay. Does it answer your question? Yeah. And w obvious, simple question: Who owns Tencent? Just, 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 yeah, just curious. Is it a Chinese company or is it a South African company? Uh, I don't. <laughs> no, no, I know. <laughs> but, but but Tencent Tencent is a public company. It's a public company. It's a public company. Yeah. How do you go about getting your HTML5 games on WeChat? Like, what what is the process? Okay, so there is no official process. So you create your HTML5 game. 
can we chat after? I'm very personally, I'm very interested in HTML5 game and, and the development of, the, of this particular niche. Uh, but there is no submission process. So you create your game, and then you and you host it on some 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 kind of server, and then you probably create a, a mobile friendly portal. If, if you have five games or ten games, or have just one game, just a, the, the the landing page for the game, and then you started. Uh, and as I said earlier, use maybe maybe use a, one of the large account WeChat account as a marketing vehicle to so strike a deal with them, ask them to post this game to your friend, to, to their friend, or just to start using your WeChat account to, to just to, just to viral, right? So there is no official discoverability or storefront or submission process for for HTML5 games on WeChat. Thanks. Yeah. Yes, let's chat afterwards. Any more questions? Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That's Great. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>